Hey, foodies, Rob Bailey here. You know, it seems like every time you turn around, you're running into someone who's got celiac disease or has got an intolerance to wheat. Maybe it's just the information that's out there these days. Who knows? Nonetheless, there are more places that are responding to this need, and I'm at one today that's at the epicenter of this demand. It's called Wildwood Bakehouse, just off campus, and you are going to love this joint. You know, the beauty of gluten-free dining is that not everything has to be treated with a special flour, rice flour, tapioca flour, like the queso, for example. It's cheese, it's peppers, it's delicious. Corn chips, of course, maiz, and you will enjoy this dish. Then you got some lovely calamari with just a teeny bit of tapioca batter, some flash fried sweet potato chips. This is a wonderful dish. And who says you can't have onion rings at a gluten-free restaurant? Little tapioca batter, beautiful flavor. They're crunchy, they're crispy, they're delicioso. The sandwiches at Wildwood may take a bit of getting used to simply because you've got to develop an accommodation for the way they make their breads. The sourdough, the focaccia, it took me a while to develop a flavor for these things, but once I did it, I'll tell you what, I became a fan. That's why it led me to the Meredith, a bacon, avocado, and turkey sandwich that'll flat knock your socks off. This is a must try. Then you've got the astonishing provolone and portobello mushroom, the king, the monster, the 300 pound gorilla of all mushrooms, beautifully presented on some focaccia bread. I absolutely adore it. And then this one kills me. This is a burger with fresh line caught salmon, again, on a uh, focaccia roll. It's delightful, it's delicious, it's da lovely. Now, some folks who are not in the know say it's not compatible to serve pizza in a gluten-free environment. Take a look at this, baby. This is 100% gluten-free. It's got ham, it's got pepperoni. It's absolutely great. You will not be dissatisfied if you order this. Again, may take a while to get used to those disparate flavors in the crust, but once you do, bazoom. And this one surprised the hell out of me. This is chicken fried steak at a gluten-free restaurant. Does this look like your typical chicken fried steak to you? Well, you know what? It is. In fact, it tastes even better. I devoured this thing. Sweet potato, beans, gravy, chicken fried steak, the bread, again, a little focaccia, absolutely delicious. The batter is from the tapioca batter. You would not know it, folks. Trust me. Now, another thing I like about Wildwood Bakehouse is their Sunday brunch. Austin is a town that loves Sunday brunch. Here's another good one. Take a look at this, the Migas. Now, does anything in this dish resemble something you would see in a gluten environment? I don't think so. It tastes about the same. It looks about the same. In fact, it eats even better. And this little baby, maybe my, one of my favorite in the city, it's called the Mama G Roll. There's no glutens in this thing, but this thing has taste like you would not believe. It's moist, it's wonderful. Try a Mama G. You know, they do regular wine dinners and tastings as well at the Wildwood Bakehouse. That's right, Virginia. Wine at a gluten-free restaurant. I mean, how cool does it get? So I hope to see you at the next one because I will be there. For the Wildwood Bakehouse, I'm your Roman Gourmet, Rob Balin, dining out, wishing you as always, bon appetit.